Hey, welcome back to this quick workshop. My name is Yu Chol. It's a beautiful day, it's sunny. Good day to work on my tan. Oh yeah. But we don't have time for that today. We're gonna be working on installing a sprinkler system on this part of the front yard. Remember all the concrete curbing that we did? I showed you on the last video. Before we go ahead and bring in topsoil and regrade the yard, I decided it'd be perfect time to put in a sprinkler system. So I got one side excavated coming from under the fence there and that will go to the second line. There will be a sprinkler here, another one there and at the end. If you already have an established lawn I recommend you rent a trencher because it doesn't make as big of a mess like a backhoe does but in my case I already have the backhoe and I'm going to be regrading the whole yard and bringing additional uh, dirt. So it's really not a problem. Now we're going to install the pipe on that side before we excavate the second side. It's a pretty narrow lawn so we don't want to run out of working room. So we'll go ahead and do that side first. The first sprinkler head will go over there so we need to uh, weld on a T. Before I weld this on, I'm going to quickly uh, screw in this uh, barb. The barb is uh, for the flexible hose. They call it funny pipe.
Now to help line up the fittings with the hose, the pipe, I'm using this printed letter as the top. Then all the fittings can be 90 degrees this way or that way depending on where it needs to go. And we'll have this plug with the threaded hole and that barb will screw on there. Here's what we're gonna use. Normally, you put this 90 degree bar at the bottom of the sprinkler, and then you put the hose on there. Instead, I'm gonna use this. So it fits in there, and this fits onto the bottom of the sprinkler. like this. So it allows you to adjust, tilt, and if you happen to drive over it with the mower or car, it'll help move and uh, hopefully prevent breakage. It only adds like 70 cents uh, for each sprinkler head. So it's definitely worth it. This is uh, they call a funny pipe, but Rainbird uh, sells this. It's half inch, flexible. Somewhat flexible. It just presses in there. I think I'll cut it right there. If it's cold outside, you can heat the end of, end of the hose with a propane torch. I grab my torch, but it seems I don't need to. And the sprinkler just uh, screws on there. Like that. Now let's go ahead and do that to all the other ones. All right, I got the flexible hoses mounted, but before I install the sprinklers, I'm going to flush out the, the pipe. Uh, it could be dirt and other debris in there, so I'm just gonna connect it to the garden hose and let the water run.
So I installed the sprinkler heads. I haven't set them in their final spot yet. I haven't, filled, I haven't backfilled yet, but I want to see uh, if they work and make sure I don't have any major issues. I, like I said, it's hooked up to the garden hose. I'll show you how I did it. Need some adjustments on their pressure or distance, I should say, and pattern. And next, I gotta install one, uh, three, three or four, I can't remember, along that side of the yard. I'll backfill this first. So we got the second line installed. Let me show you. Comes from there. There's a head. There's a head. A head. Another head. And this is the end. So let's take a quick look at the sprinkler heads I'm using. I'm using Rainbird. The model number is right there 22 SAR VA Pro this is uh, what they call R van this one shoots 17 to 24 feet adjustable with a pattern adjustable of 20 uh, 45 to 270 degrees and this is the same one except it shoots 13 to 18 feet and the only difference is model number starts with 12 versus 22 and you can tell that they have different color nozzles and let me put one down once you install it it's pretty easy you turn this shaft to line up this white mark with your left edge of the sprinkler pattern and then this right here you turn it one way or another to adjust the distance that you want to spray and while it's spraying you push this down and turn it right or left to adjust the angle how much how wide of a spread you want to sprinkle that's it it's supposed to be high efficiency let's take a quick look at what i found while i was digging there was a sprinkler system in there if you call that if you could call that anyway take a look at this says SDR 21. It is a three quarter inch pipe PVC, but SDR stands for sewer drain rated. Look at the thickness of the wall. The one I'm holding on the right is a schedule 40. That's what I'm using and that's what you should be using. Ignore the size difference. Just look at the thickness. 
this should have never been used. It gets crushed easily when you drive on it with the lawnmower. It's just not a good idea. And let me show you what else I found. The T right there is where they had the sprinkler heads mounted. And I found one. That is not a good idea. You need a flexible hose because you drive over that with the lawnmower, you tap it, it'll break. And exa that's exactly what happened here. Not the right, right way to install a sprinkler system. Right side is all backfilled in. Uh, I need some topsoil and plant grass. The left side I tested, make sure there were no major issues or leaks and started backfilling. Just need to finish that, but I won't make you watch me uh, shovel dirt on this side. You already did that on the right side. I have the sprinklers uh, temporarily running off of a garden hose. Uh, this is what I rigged up. Pipe just comes uh, past the fence and I put two valves there so I can turn on uh, one side at a time because obviously there's not going to be enough water flow to power both sides. I say that's temporary because come spring, I'm going to be running a sprinkler system in the back of the yard as well. And all that is going to come here. I'm going to be pulling a one inch water line from the house. And that's where I'm going to install a manifold with all the valves and uh, hopefully a smart control system so I can control everything with my uh, phone but until then uh just for this fall when i plant grass seeds i need a way to uh irrigate so that's what the temporary setup is for i'll bring you back for another video when i haul in a topsoil and finish that front yard but as far as the sprinkler system goes i think it's done so thanks for watching